I'd like to call uh, the Monday, uh, seven, uh, June 7th, 7.30 public hearing to order um, uh, in accordance with uh, Charles B. Uh, D. Baker, March 10, 2020 order, suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, um, 30A and 20. City, uh, Quincy City Council will be convening these public hearings via remote conferencing services that will air on Quincy uh, Access uh, TV channel uh, nine, government access. So uh, I'd like to call the, uh, uh, the public hearing is, uh, so if uh, we could have a roll call, please. Councilor Andronico. Present. Councilor Kane. Present. Councilor DeBona. Councilor Liang. Present. Councilor Mahoney. Councilor McCarthy. Present. Councilor Phelan. Present. I think he's on. Councilor Palmucci. Jim and Harris. Yeah, present. Thank you. We have a quorum six. Thank you very much. Um, so this is uh, the public hearing is for 2021-059 uh, utility grant of location Mass Electric Verizon Forbes Hill Road. At this point, I'd like to ask anyone wishing to speak in favor or opposition to use the raise hand feature, and when you are called upon please state your name and address. No written correspondences uh, for this has been received by the clerk of committees for this item. Uh, so please, um, if anybody like to speak in favor, please raise your hand. All right, going once, going twice. Seeing not further public comment, I would uh, close this public hearing at 7.32, and we'll be back in three minutes. Um, I'd like to call um, the Monday, uh, June 7th, 7.35 p.m. hearings to order. In accordance with Ch uh, Governor Charles Baker, March 10, 2020, order suspending certain provisions of the open law meeting, GL 30A and 20. Uh, the Quincy City Council will be convening these public hearings via remote uh, conferencing services that will air on Quincy Access TV, QA TV, um, uh, Channel 9 government access. So this public hearing is on 2021-060, utility grant of location, TC Systems and AT&T on Water Street and at Franklin Street. So at this point, I would like to ask anyone wishing to speak in favor or opposition uh, to use the raise hand feature. When you are called upon, please uh, state your name and address. So with that, do we have anybody who would like to speak in favor or against? Okay, I see that Ryan Martin has raised his hand. Could we- um, One sec. Thanks, Jen. Yeah, good evening, members of the board. This is Ryan Martin with uh, GMRE Group. I'm representing TC Systems on this matter. Um, I don't have uh, anything more to add other than what was in the um, agenda for today. I just didn't know if you guys had any questions. Um, otherwise, um, we just ask that you find this application complete and the proposal um, acceptable and that you grant us uh, permission to move forward today. And that was it. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Is there anybody else, um, any, anybody else who would like to speak in favor or against? Okay. Going once, going twice, three times. So um, we do have, uh, we do have, um, I have a couple of written correspondences. One was against from um, Mr. Stephen O'Brien, 16 Guild Street, um, uh, Quincy Mass 02169. Uh, his correspondence was against. And then I have a correspondence that I'd like to speak, just uh, point out, um, uh, and I'll give you the cliff note version of the letter that I got that an ordinance governing small cell wireless installations on privately owned poles as we have here was previously approved by, this, by the council and subsequently amended to include city owned poles. 
The main one in its set standards that a wireless provider must meet and, and, and provided for a permitting process to be administered by the city's Department of Inspectional Services. So um, that being said, we've already, we've already talked about this uh, 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 during uh, public works committee meetings. So and we've, obviously we've already um, passed that. So um, again, it falls under, under the Department of Inspectional Services as well. So um, other than that, I have no other written correspondences that have been received by the clerk of committees for this item. So with no further pub uh, public comment, again, I think I didn't break my record though, but it, we're done at 7.38 and we'll be back in two minutes with uh, President Liang. Madam Clerk, welcome back. Could you call the roll please? Thank you. Councillor Andronico. Present. Councillor Kane. Present. Councillor DeBona. Councillor Harris. Present. Council Mahoney. Present. Council McCarthy. Present. Council Palmucci. Present. Councillor Failing. Present. President Liang. Eight members, you have a quorum. Thank you so much. If we could all just mute ourselves um, and just take a moment of silence in respect of all the women and men currently fighting both here at home and abroad, as well as just keeping in mind to all the frontline workers who are still combating the pandemic. Thank you so much. Madam Clerk, could you open, read the open meeting law, please? Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made, whether perceived or unperceived by those present and that deemed acknowledged and permissible. Thank you. And in accordance with Governor Charlie Stu Baker's March 10, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, General Law Chapter 30A, Section 20, the Quincy City Council is holding this council meeting via remote video conferencing services, and it's being aired on Quincy Access Television, QATV Channel 9, Government Access. Uh, Madam Clerk, first item on the agenda, please. 2021-061, an appropriation under Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 53A and a half, setting the limits of what is Wait to be expended. And motion to waive the reading by Council McCarthy, Mr. Chairman. Did you want to just waive the reading or did you have some questions on it or? It was no, Palmucci who waived the that reading. That was Council Palmucci. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought it's- yeah, no questions. McCarthy, okay. Um, all right, so I do have Eric here who I believe can, and can speak to this item for a moment and then answer any questions anybody has. <laughs> Thank you, Madam President, and good evening, City Council. Um, so this is a routine measure we do every year under uh, Chapter 44, Section 53 and a, uh, 53E and a half. These are the revolving funds. Um, revolving funds are, um, and basically they're funds that are set aside, the council approves it, and any funds received can be expended out or any rollover funds, but no expenditure can be made without having the funds already received in the account. Um, as you can see from the council order, these are there's no new funds um, from last year, um, and uh, it's I'm sure a lot. I know most of the council, the entire council has been on before for these, um, so I'm more than happy to handle to handle any questions. But it's the traditional set of revolving up on, of revolving accounts. Okay, thank you, Eric. Um, I'd like to go to Council Harris and then Council McCarthy. Council Harris. Yes, I'd like to make a motion to approve, please. Okay, there's a motion to approve by Council Harris. Council McCarthy, I wanted to go to you next. No, uh, just second. I'm I'm good. It's a uh, standard uh, revolving account, revolving fund um, work we do every year, and uh, I wanted to move it, but I was second, uh, Councillor Harris. All right, thank you both. So there's a motion and a second. Are there any questions on this item for Eric before we move forward with the vote? Okay, seeing none. Madam Clerk, could you call the roll, please? Councillor Andronico. Yes. Councillor Kane. Yes. Councillor Devona. Council Harris. Yes. Council Mahoney. Yes. Council McCarthy. Yes. Council Palmucci. Yes. Councilor Phelan. Yes. President Liang. Yes. Eight members. Thank you. I 
Number two on the agenda, please. Number two is 2021-062 in order. Confirmation of a tenant representative to the Quincy Housing motion Authority. Motion to waive the reading and uh, please move to Housing Committee. Thank you. So there's a motion to waive the reading and to move to Housing. Um, Madam Clerk, I'm sorry, do we, I'm off my game a little bit today. Do we need a second for that? No, to not for a referral to committee, that's fine. Okay, um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, so we'll move back to housing. Number three, please, Madam Clerk. 2021-063, an ordinance, acceptance of General James C. McClawsville Way. Approve. Motion to approve. If okay, there's a motion to approve by Councilor Harris, do we have a second? Can't. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. sorry, Madam, sorry, Madam President. Oh, I apologize. Hold on one second. Um, Mr. Uh, Council McCarthy. See, now you're all throwing me off the game. Council McCarthy, I saw that you had your hand raised before Mr. Walker. It's okay. It's okay. I, I will yield to Mr. Walker. I know what he's going to say, so I'll yield to Mr. Walker. Thank you, Mr. Walker. Good. Through you, Madam President, I um, certainly appreciate the Council's enthusiasm uh, to get uh, these acted upon this evening, but they do require uh, public hearings, so the administration's uh, goal would be to have uh, the orders moved to committee and scheduling a public hearing and hopefully acted upon on the 21st. Okay, thank you. Uh, Madam Clerk, so does Council Harris have to pull his his motion or can we just make a second motion? To I, could, I could pull that. I, I uh, Seeing that, I thought it was uh, like sort of like the, the motions I made for the two squares. I thought it was it, just similar. So I have no issue with, um, with, with withdrawing. Okay, thank you, Council Harris. So Madam Chair, can I move that to ordinance to refer to ordinance then? Yes, please. Um, any questions or comments on this item, folks? Okay, so all those in favor to move to ordinance? Aye. Any opposed? All right, so we'll move that to ordinance and schedule a public hearing. Uh, and number four, please, Madam Clerk. 2021-064, ordinance acceptance of General Joseph F. Dunford Drive. We can move that to ordinance as well, that would be great. We have a motion to move that to ordinance as well. Um, does anybody have any questions or comments on this item? Mr. Walker, anything? No? <laughs> All those in favor to move this ordinance? Aye. Any opposed? All right, so we'll move that to ordinance as well. So that's it for the regularly scheduled agenda. Uh, we do need a motion to approve the previous meeting minutes from Monday, May 17th. Motion to approve. Councilor Harris, do we have a second? Second. Second. Another Councilor Phelan. Any questions on the meeting minutes? Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Next, we'll move on to communications and reports from the mayor, other city officers, boards. All right, seeing none, unfinished business and proceeding meeting. Also seeing none, we'll move on to reports of committees. I'd like to go to our the chairman, Chairman Harris, for some reports. Thank you. Yes, uh, this uh, a few minutes ago, we had a uh, public works committee um, items uh, to be passed. Uh, public hearing was held. Uh, 2021059 uh, granted location mass electric Verizon Forbes Hill Road positive recommendation from the Public Works Committee motion to approve. Thank you, sir. So we have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Councilor Phelan. Any questions or comments on this item? Okay, Madam Clerk, could you call the roll, please? Oh, hold on. I'm sorry, Madam Clerk. Let me just unmute you. Councilor Andronico. Yes. Councilor Kane. Councilor DeBona. Councilor Harris. Yes. Councilor Mahoney. Yes. Councilor McCarthy. Yes. Councilor Palmucci. No. Councilor Phelan. Yes. President Liang. Yes. Six members, it passes. Thank you. Very good, thank you. Uh, another public hearing was held um, prior to tonight, tonight's meeting. 2021-060, utility grant of location, TC Systems, at and Water Street and Franklin Street. Positive recommendation from the Public Works Committee. Motion thank to approve. Thank you, do we have a second? Second. Second by Councilor Phelan. Any questions or comments on this item? 
Hey, Madam Clerk, could you call the roll, please? Councilor Andronico. Yes. Councilor Kane. Yes. Councilor DeBona. Councilor Harris. Yes. Council Mahoney. Yes. Council McCarthy. Yes. Council Pelmucci. No. Councilor Phelan. Yes. President Liang. No. Six members passes. Thank you. Any more, Mr. Chairman? That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any other reports of committees? All right. Seeing none. Presentations of petitions, memorials, and remonstrances. Yes. Uh, and I'm sorry, Councilor Mahoney, I just saw her hand go up first, if that's okay. And that's okay. okay. No, that's we, I'll go to Councilor Harris. I'd like to, I'd like to go after. That's okay. Short thing, uh, Councilor Harris. Um, thank you. Um, uh, I, I'd like to take a, a moment to recognize the passing of Frank Lynn, um, who is a lifelong Quincy resident and a U.S. Navy veteran. Everyone knew Frank. Um, Frank worked for 23 years as, as a Quincy health inspector, uh, retiring in 2016. He was also a real estate agent with his, his wife, uh, Maureen, uh, Maureen Glenn. Um, and uh, Frank is going to be sorely missed, especially um, in Marina Bay community and amongst his uh, morning coffee friends at Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, I'd like to ask that we keep uh, all of uh, um uh, keep Frank's uh, wife, Maureen, and his children in our thoughts and our prayers. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you so much, Councilor Harris. Councilor Mahoney? Oh, Councilor Mahoney, I just need to unmute you. Hold on a moment. Am I good? Good, okay. So tonight I have a remonstrance. I have um, been receiving a lot of phone calls, emails, text messages. I've been stopped at the grocery store at the Memorial Day observance, at the Pride Day Festival. People are upset and they wanna know, they want the Monroe Building. They don't want the Monroe Building purchased for Quincy College. They're even more outraged at the thought that pandemic relief funds are being used to take another building off the tax rolls of the city of Quincy. I must agree with the outcry. I'm personally disappointed by the mayor's choice to use federal pandemic money to purchase the Monroe building. I do not believe the American Recovery Plan is intended for use of purchasing buildings to take them off tax rolls. It is not intended to purchase the, for purchasing of future sites for Quincy College or securing a site for the MBTA master plan. And it's definitely not for the mayor's stated but recently admitted purchase of a new city hall. Listening to the overwhelming voice and the Quincy, of the Quincy constituents, I believe a majority of the city council is really ready to vote and reject the appropriation that was put before us. Yet this administration just did not want to hear the word no, and they removed it from our ability to vote. And now he's using pandemic money for the mayor's vanity project. People are outraged by what the mayor's proposing. The funding should be used for a myriad of pandemic uses, including addressing public health emergency or negative impacts, including assistance to households, small businesses, and nonprofits, responding to essential workers, provisions for government services to extend in the reduction in the, re in, in the reduction in the revenue due to COVID-19, to make necessary investments in water, sewer, or broadband infrastructure. The purpose of the ARP, American Rescue Plan Act of 2021, and specifically the Higher Education Emergency Relief Fund, the HEERF, is intended for two purposes, emergency financial aid to students and for institutional uses of funds. These include defraying expenses associated with coronavirus, making additional financial grants to students, implementing evidence-based practices to monitor and suppress coronavirus, con conducting direct outreach to financial aid, about the opportunity to receive a final financial aid adjustment due to recent unemployment of a family member or themselves. HEERF grants must not be used for funding contractors for provisions for pre-enrollment recruitment activities, marketing or recruitment, endowments, capital outlays associated with facilities, senior administration or executive salaries or bonuses, religious workshops or instruction, construction, or purposes or purchases of real property in relation to corona in relation to construction or purchases purchases of real property 
Grantees are prohibited from using HEERF funding for the acquisition of real property or construction. This includes using HEERF grant funds on capital projects, including deferred maintenance and capital improvements. As stated, I think the misuse of the pandemic relief funds, I think this is a misuse of the, of the pandemic re, of relief funds. This no longer resides in the city council, but I still feel it's strong that I needed to speak about it. So for the folks at home and for the people who stop me, do not let the ARP funds for schools and students end up in the wrong hands. You asked what you needed to do, you can file a complaint online with the inspector generals or call their hotline at 1-800-MISUSED, 1-800-647-8733. Thank you. Thank you, Council Mahoney. Any other presentations of petitions, memorials, and remonstrance? Uh, Council Harris. Yes, thank you. Thank you, President Liang. Um, you know, I'm sorry I'm coming back again. I know everybody wants to probably go and watch the uh, Bruins win tonight. Um, I just want to say that um, this evening, uh, the uh, Quincy High School held their, um, um, their graduation. I want to congratulate everybody at Quincy High School. I'm, I'm sorry I wasn't able to uh, make it make it tonight. I'm hoping to make it tomorrow night. Unfortunately, I, I've, uh, I, hurt, I hurt my back and um, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling. But I want to just say that tomorrow night, uh, the kids from North Quincy High School, hopefully the weather will hold out and we'll have a, a beautiful evening. It's so great to see, you know, everybody be, have great spirits, seeing the people out in public that uh, I can't even imagine. I, I, you know, at work, I see a lot of folks coming and going in Quincy Center and folks are, are, are really happy to be almost, we're, all, we're getting there, we're almost back to normal. And, and tonight and tomorrow night is a great example of, of that is the fact that we're getting back to normal. We're able to, um, we're able to celebrate uh, kids who've worked hard and they still, they have a bright future ahead of them in the, in the next four years as they move on to college or they move on to the military service or they even move on to just going out and, and um, working in the public. So uh, I, I wanna congratulate, I'm sure I, I'm speaking for everybody on this council when we congratulate everybody that, you know, um, that is graduating. And um, I, I, I'm hopeful that I'll, I'll be able to make it tomorrow night and, um, and see the folks, uh, see my scholarship winners uh, uh, grab their, their uh, uh, diplomas tomorrow. It's a, it's a thrill. So thank you, Madam President, so much. Thank you. Everybody have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Any other presentations, petitions, memorials, and remonstrance? Okay, any motions, orders, and resolutions? All right, seeing none. So scheduling of committee meetings and public hearings, just to remind folks, uh, we do have a Monday, June, next week is pretty busy, uh, Monday, June 14th, meeting of the Finance Committee to discuss the Pension and Adams Academy, that following Wednesday, June 16th, and Thursday, June 17th, will be the Finance Committee uh, for public, um, sorry, for the budget hearings. And then the following Monday, June 21st, will be, um, I believe we have a couple meetings prior to the regularly scheduled council meeting and uh, the assistant city clerk, Jen, is great at getting that information out. So I encourage folks to go on the website if they'd like to take a look at our schedule and the items that we're meeting on. But next week will be a busy week. So let me let all of you go. Uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Okay. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you.